Nick Lee, uh, Guam EPA, thanks for uh, coming on. And we'll just get right into it, Nick. Uh, as I'm sure you're aware, there was um, a, a viral WhatsApp message that was afforded many times. And uh, this uh, message reads, Guam EPA is an opportunity to hire a number of competitive limited term appointment positions within the agency. Uh, these positions are unclassified with a single term lasting up to 18 months to include full benefits. The positions are for entry level, but could be higher depending on applicants experience. We will be hiring for all sections and programs within Guam EPA. Please see our webpage for a more complete agency description. Positions will range from our administrative services division and information technology section to our more technical divisions like the airland division and our water division. Please have any interested applicants, email me, jesse.cruz at epa.guam.gov. A cover letter indicating the positions they're interested in, a copy of their current resume, and a completed GovGuam employment application. There's a quick turnaround on this as I will need resumes by close of business Monday, December 6, 2021. Again, this is a competitive hiring process and by submitting a resume, nothing is implied or guaranteed. Please forward and distribute. Uh, thanks. I guess just um, first of all, Nick, uh, is this how Guam EPA normally announces uh, that they're trying to fill positions is via a uh, viral WhatsApp message? No, that, that's not normal. Uh, Usually when, we, when we're going to announce a position, it's usually for something classified. And uh, that goes through the normal uh, announcement process uh, through Department of Administration. Uh, we do have a, a unique opportunity to uh, onboard and increase our uh, capacity uh, with, with the agency uh, for positions uh, through limited term appointment. I, I do need to point out that limited term appointment Appointments uh, still have to qualify for the position. Uh, we're, we're not going to be able to just hire anybody. And so uh, applications and uh, resumes for, for anybody that's interested in working with the agency are still going to be evaluated by the recruitment branch over at uh, DOA. And you know, uh, Ed and Bernie, you know, they, they run a tight ship over there. Uh, we defer to their expertise in terms of getting us a, a, you know, a, a list of, of candidates for, for LTA positions that uh, we're seeking to, to fill. Uh, so we, we did have a plan uh, in place. That's something that we're, we're reevaluating right now. Uh, the first thing that we do need to do is inform our board. And so when I said that- Wait the, a second. Uh, so inform, what, are, what are you gonna inform the board about? Well, remember, our board is our policy board, and so it's no it's no big secret that the agency has had uh, has staffing issues. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, there, there's a lot of work to be done. We're a small agency, uh, and and we are transparent with our board in terms of uh, our operations. So, the board has not been apprised of what our plans were for uh, you know for a capacity building, and so. We do need to give them that courtesy. Uh, we do want their input in terms of uh, uh, the positions that we're gonna that we're gonna uh, announce. I mean, the message was was very broad. When we when we roll out an official announcement, you'll actually see positions that we're looking for. That way, uh, in interested yeah. applicants are going to be able yeah, to next. Look at I, I get yeah. I get what you're saying about. Um, how technical these positions are, uh, but I, I think we're kind of getting ahead of the conversation here. I, I kind of want to focus on um, this message that went out because this message, it, it's unofficial, like you said, but there's merit to it. There's truth to it because you guys are actually hiring. So how are we to know that this wasn't like a flag run up saying, hey, everybody who's supporting uh, Lou and Josh for re-election Hey, but get, you know, email your resume over to me because we need to hire all these uh, limited term appointments and we got to do it by Monday. You know what I mean? On, a, on its surface, it, it, it really, that's how it looks. That's, you know, that's simply not the case. So we, we do not have any interference from the administration. In fact, the administration is very supportive of us. So they're very insistent uh, that we get this done. Uh, there's a lot of work that We've uh, we've been able to accomplish, especially during the pandemic, and they they want to see us successful. Uh, the legislature too, they want to see us successful. Uh, there's also a bill that was introduced by by uh, by the speaker, co-authored by our uh, our committee chair. 
looking to give us uh, 650,000 for capacity building. So our agency has so much support from both the legislature and the, uh, and the administration. We're not gonna take that for granted. We're definitely not gonna take that for granted. Uh, it's not a political hire. I know that's what it looks like, but that, that, that's not the truth. Uh, we don't care what your, uh, what, what your uh, political affiliation is. As long as you're qualified for the position, as long as you can pass a drug test, as long as you're vaccinated or you're willing to undergo weekly testing uh, and we can clear budget, uh, there's, a good, there's a good chance that, uh, that, that you'd be able to, to get picked up with the agency, absolutely. Uh, so there, there's, no, um, there, there's no interference at all, there's nothing but support. Uh, Nick, uh, how are we to guarantee, though, um, that uh, applicants haven't already sent their resumes to this Jesse Cruz guy over at Guam EPA? And how are we to guarantee that when you guys do officially announce these positions, which I'm presuming is not going to, I mean, if, if this message says that you're trying to collect resumes by Monday, uh, that, that timeline's, I'm assuming that's not an accurate well, timeline. The is not trying to the agency is not trying to collect anything by Monday. That was an arbitrary date. I'm not sure what the reasons are for that date. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do we guarantee that the people that. haven't submitted their, their resumes and their applications to this Jesse Cruz guy? And how do we guarantee that they're not going to get preferential treatment? Now that we know this message has been forwarded so many times, I'm pretty sure there were people who may have saw it and may have sent the resumes thinking that it was legit. What's what's to happen with that? And how do we ensure that the, the competitive process for hiring these positions is kept intact given that, um, I don't know, a lot of people think it's been tainted already by this uh, viral message. Well, if there, if there have been any applications or resumes sent, uh, the right thing to do would, have, would, would be to have those individuals resubmit them. Uh, I mean, anybody can, can drop off a resume or an application to our agency or, or to the Department of Administration. That, no, nobody's going to stop you from doing that. Uh, now, to, to make the process fair, because uh, we didn't officially announce it, once we post actual position titles on our, on our webpage, uh, the process is going to be clearer. And so if, if anybody who, uh, who received that message uh, complied with it and, and, and submitted things, uh, so resubmit, resubmit. Uh, that that's uh, that's the only way that uh, that uh, we're so were you guys able started. were you able to confirm? Did any resumes get submitted to Mr. Jesse Cruz? I believe maybe two did. Uh, not not a whole lot of interest. Maybe two. Maybe yeah. two. If that, yeah, maybe two. That's about it. As uh, uh, that, that was, can can part. can. I mean, is Mr. Cruz, is he like in charge of hiring at Guam EPA? The individual that sent out the, the message, uh, he's, our, he's our monitoring and, and analytical uh, services administrator. Uh, very, he's a very hardworking uh, individual. Uh, he but is he in charge of, uh, I mean, Nick, is he the guy at Guam EPA? who is normally in charge of receiving resumes and applications for hiring? No, he's not. So he was acting outside of his area of responsibility? We all are multiple hats in the agency. Um, if, someone, if someone wanted to submit an application and a resume to me, I'll, I'll, I'll intake it and I'll log it in, sure. Be gone. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Where was I at with this? You were just saying how uh, people could give you an application. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it in. <clears throat> uh, we all are multiple hats. To, uh, right, but I mean, want, I, I, uh, I'm sure Nick. I mean, because you've been around a while just the optics of like, if, if I give my resume or application to somebody like you who works at Guam EPA, then the, to me, the implication would be that it's preferential treatment because, you know, I've got it in, right. As opposed to having people submit resumes and applications like the regular. So, so let's just go back. Guam EPA, if I was to apply for an, a position 
where would I submit my resume and application to? Once we put out that official notice specific to our intention to hire limited term appointment, uh, that would go through us. Uh, we would then consult with, uh, with DOA recruitment because they are the authority on, on evaluating all of the applications and all of the resumes. Uh, based on whatever position is applied for, we'll, get, we'll receive feedback from recruitment branch as to whether or not this person is qualified for the job. Uh, once once they're qualified, uh, we will go through the we'll go through the process of uh, ensuring that the person uh, the the action clears budget. Uh, again, we would what? Match. What's the funding source for these <laughs> hires? The funding source uh, has not been determined at this time. Uh, we did receive some money from the ARP. We do have some CARES Act funding. We also have our consolidated grant. So we have flexibility on on uh, on our on our funding, uh, not anything to the point where we can hire a bunch of people. I I mean, a large amount of people. We, we're not going to be able to staff to our desired level, but we are going to we are going to get additional help. Uh, and I do want to point out that uh, the individuals that we're looking for, they really do have to be qualified because we submit a, a five year work plan to our, uh, our federal counterparts at Region 9. And that five-year work plan uh, is the basis for us to receive our consolidated grant funding. So the people that, that we are going to onboard, they need, we need to make sure that, uh, that they're going to be able to help us carry out everything that we say in our five-year work plan. In fact, depending on the funding source, Region 9 will have some say uh, in terms of us being able to hire. So. There's a lot of checks and balances here. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, the individual was, was eager to get this process started. Uh, you know, he, he was responsible for three major pro projects throughout the pandemic. You know, he was the catalyst for the abandoned derelict vessel removal. He was the catalyst for the, the tire. I, I get what you're project. saying, Nick. I get what you're yeah. saying. You're, you're, you're basically you're trying to say that Mr. Jesse Cruz is a, is a valuable employee over at Guam EPA who spearheaded a lot of great operations, but he's just not in charge in any way of hiring or receiving resumes or applications. No. no so no. is he, is he going to be Anybody reprimanded be for, for this or is it an offense you think that warrants any kind of disciplinary action or I'm I mean, from sure an agency perspective, be, you could stand a reason that if you sent out an unofficial message, uh, without the appointed authority's uh, approval, then and sure that you could stand a reason that there's going to be some type of disciplinary action. Now, whatever that is, I'm I'm not able to say. Yes, yeah. uh, Nick. So uh, just to kind of wrap here in the in this message, um, it says you guys have an opportunity to hire a number of competitive limited term appointment positions within the agency. Uh, these positions are unclassified with a single term lasting up to 18 months, uh, which means if you're hired in these positions, uh, it'll the term of employment will carry you past the next um, election. But how many positions are we talking about here? Because it just says hire a number of competitive LTAs. Uh, the number of positions in determine that. And that's part of the problem with that message. The other part of the problem with that message is uh, LTAs are one year term. They're not one and a half years, they're one year terms. So But again, we're we're uh, not we're not we're not dead. disputing the the truth of the that that this message was sent by a Guam EPA employee. So that that's confirmed by you that this employee acted uh, out of order and sent this notice out uh, in haste or whatever. Uh, but that being said, in there haste, are some in, inaccuracies with the actual message, is what you're saying. Yes, there are inaccuracies, uh, but there was no ill will here. There was no malice with that. Uh, person is goal oriented, eager to get things going, uh, eager to, to get the big projects going, realizing that the agency needs to help. Unfortunately, this was not something that uh, was approved by the appointed authority, and, and that's that's where we are today. Okay, so what's the timeline on an official announcement? Um, for these positions? 
Well, we'd like to present our uh, our plan to the board first so that they could give us uh, their input. Uh, again, the, the board is our policy board. We want them involved uh, with, with, uh, with our hiring practices. We want them involved with our operations. A lot of them are new faces. So this is a good time uh, for, for new blood to, to give us uh, their feedback. And, and, and once we have some, uh, some feedback and, uh, and comments uh, from, from the board, uh, we'll sit down together as an agency and we'll go over how we're going to uh, uh, carry out choosing which divisions are going to get which positions and then everything will be uh, everything will be put out in public. There you go. So no, no official timeline. When's the next board meeting then? Uh, one second. I you think I should know these things off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, the next board meeting is Thursday, December 16 at 4 p.m. Uh, that's going to be via Google Meets. Uh, so a, a link will be uh, uh, published. Uh, so you're able to, to log in through that link or watch it live streamed on our YouTube channel. Okay, Nick, I just, I just want to give you one last opportunity and I, I'd appreciate uh, your honesty, but with this message going around, like I said, you know, everybody I talk to, they look at it and they say, oh, this is shaking the tree for re-election, get people hired, you know, get them paid, get them happy so they vote the right way. But you're saying unequivocally that's not the case at all. I'm also going to say that that's what happens when you subscribe to unverified information. Uh, yeah, but I in this case, this is that, unverified information that came from an employee of your agency. It's not some random person that sent something around. Correct. And we are here to, I'm here to tell you that, uh, that uh, there are some inaccuracies with it. it. It was not approved to be released. Uh, we understand what the intention was. We want to come, uh, we want to make good with the, with the public on this and, and set the record straight that there, there is an intention to hire. There's a plan in place. We do want to consult with our board first. Uh, we have no, we have no interference uh, from the administration. We have nothing but uh, encouragement uh, from them. Uh, they want to see us succeed, and we're uh, we're happy to carry that out. I, I mean, if you take a look at everything that that we've accomplished uh, uh, under their leadership, from getting the uh, rules and regulations for the uh, recycling revolving fund passed. Uh, that, that was huge. That was a long-standing issue uh, since the fund was uh, was uh, was was given to us. We, you know, these guys get it done in year one. Uh, you know that we were we were we were so ecstatic about that. Uh, rules and regulations uh, updates uh, to comply with uh, with uh, with federal guidelines on safe drinking water. We're, we worked with the legislature. The administration supported us. Huge, huge. Those are all big things. Uh, so I, I can tell you that there is no, uh, there's no interference here. The, the, the process uh, still requires the applicant to be qualified. We just can't go out onto the street and say, hey, come work for us. That's not how this works. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. I appreciate your uh, time. All right, Chris. Have a good day. You Take too, care. my friend.